Hey friends, it's great to see you back. And today, I'm joined by this striking king. You know, these kings usually come in sets of three. They are often in oral traditions named Caspar and Melchior and Balthazar, although we don't really know if that was their true names. And the tale about them says that they travel a long, long distance across the fiery hot desert because their goal was to meet up with this little baby who was going to grow up to bring the world a wonderful message. And they were looking for him and it took them a long time to arrive. This day, all around the world, is known as Three King Day because we still honor their journey. They are sometimes called Magi, each individual one being called a mage, because that just means wise man or wise person. And it is viewed as being a very wise decision for them to not give up on this journey. Well, you know, sometimes you and I have a goal that we're trying to reach or we're trying to complete a task. And there's this one little voice in our head that says, oh, I just want to quit. I just, I quit. I don't want to do this anymore. It's too hard. It's taking too long. It's too difficult. But then our wiser voice, our higher self says, oh, come on, keep trying. This is a good and worthy goal. Don't give up. And so I like to keep my magi or kings or wise men around my house where I can see them, even when it's not this day of the year, because they remind me that it's worth the effort to hang in there. Well, there's some mudra and some breathing that can help when you need to have stamina to complete a goal. And this mudra and this breathing can help you whether or not you have statuettes of kings, magi, wise men around to remind you. Hey, your highness, I need to put you down for a second, okay? So everyone can see both my hands. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to put this striking king right here. And this way you can see both my hands. This is Sahasra Mudra. And we've done it before, but it's always worth repeating because very often we need a reminder of our highest self, our best self, our self that says, don't give up, don't give in. It's going to be okay. To do this mudra, you're simply going to put your thumb tips and your pointer fingertips together and your other fingers are extended. To me, if I use my imagination, this actually looks a little bit like a crown. We're going to put it right up here by what we call the crown area or crown chakra. And then we are going to inhale to the count of 10 through our nose and exhale to the count of 10 through our lips. Let's try it, shall we? And Yes, and you could do this mudra and this breathing just as frequently as you would like and as many repetitions as you would like. So I hope sometime when you're about to give in, you're about to give up or throw in the towel, you'll remember this mudra and this breathing and that will help. Well, wise king, it's time to say goodbye to our friends at home. Would you like to say goodbye? Yeah? Goodbye, friends. Stay on the journey. We're going to remember that. Friends. This wise king and I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.